Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another alien drop. This one's on the insectoids, the mantis, and the mothman. Right here is a petroglyph of what they look like in ancient time. In ufology, insectoid aliens are alleged extraterrestrial beings which have a similar body with earth insects or arachnids. These beings are involved in alien encounters and alien abduction scenarios, but their presence is not as widely reported as Nordic aliens and gray aliens. Before 1990, the UFO reports concerning insectoids included only the Mothman and the Alagash abductions. In 1992, the alien abduction researcher Brian Thompson claims that a nurse acquaintance of his reported that during 1957 in Cincinnati, she encountered a three-foot-tall praying mantis-like entity two days after a V-shaped UFO sighting. This mantis-like creature is reminiscent of the insectoid-type entity reported in some abduction accounts. Mantis aliens are perhaps the most mysterious and unsettling of all extraterrestrial creatures. These beings appear with many abduction scenarios, with abductees reporting the ominous presence of these entities looming over their beds as they wake in the dead of night. While the mantis is not as widely reported as the gray or Nordic alien, it still holds an important role with many extraterrestrial contact scenarios. Insect beings appear within mythologies throughout the world, including Native American and African folklore. The Cohesion tribe of Africa specifically regard the mantis as first living creature upon the earth who granted life to animals and humans, inventing language and bringing fire to the people. It is even said that the mantis created the moon as a guide for hunters by throwing a gallbladder into the sky. Physical Characteristics By far the most striking aspect of the mantis alien is its physical kinship with the praying mantis, the carnivorous and bipedal insect of its namesake. Many report these beings are six to seven feet tall with long, thin torsos. Their necks, arms, and hands have additional joints. Their heads are insect-like and triangular with large slanted eyes of deep brown to black. Most mantids are described as dark brown, but other colors such as green and black have also been encountered. Their bodies are composed of a segmented exoskeleton and some abductees have reported that the mantis seem to be coated in an oily substance. Mantis are often encountered wearing long robes in a variety of colors, perhaps signifying their rank, while some are unclothed. Communication methods. Although the mantis tend to communicate with human abductees using telepathic messages, they have been witnessed engaging one another Using an auditory language, several contactees have described the mantis language as a series of clicking sounds exchanged between the creatures. Abilities Some experiencers state that the mantis are also shapeshifters and use advanced technologies to create a field around their bodies to make them appear human. i seen that in Stargate. They had a little thing on Stargate about that. Common Abduction Scenario the mantis tend to be overseers and often appear to be in leadership positions of power during abduction. Generally, a mantis will be accompanied by several small gray aliens who seem to do its bidding. These small grays are assumed to be drone beings controlled by a hive mind and utilized by a variety of alien races. Remember, in my draconian video, I, I told you the draconians rule over the grays. Their intentions on earth. The perceived motivation of the mantis in regards to human abduction is somewhat mysterious. Some contactees describe these creatures as positive, uplifting beings who seek to protect humanity and the earth. One common thread found among many abduction scenarios is centered around the use of holographic projections as a means of education. Abductees often report mantis beings showing them holographic images of the destruction of planet earth to illustrate the possible negative impact that our species could have upon the planet. Others have reported an increase in psychic abilities. Post-abduction, many experiencers claim that the mantis seem to possess the uncanny ability to put abductees at ease, offering telepathic birds of comfort that eliminate the fear of an encounter. Human DNA harvesting. However, some return from their experiences with the mantis with a darker point of view stating that the mantis wish to conquer and control Earth rather than aid in human ascension. Some believe that a mantis hybridization program is currently taking place using human DNA to create a new species. Some abductees report the presence of tall blacks, a creature thought to be such a hybridization. Experiencers describe these beings as incredibly tall and more humanoid than insectoid, 
with black skin, extremely long limbs, and extra joints on their appendages. These abduction scenarios are very similar to those involving mantis aliens and seem to evolve around medical experiments. These most chilling features of the tall blacks encountered by many abductees are their glowing red eyes. Alright y'all, that's about all I got for today. This was an insectoid alien.